Hello. Well, blazing June begins tomorrow, and it's wonderful that the weather has been so good. I mean, looking out of our windows uh, in lockdown and seeing just uh, the 50 shades of British grey outside wouldn't have been so nice. First of all, get a pencil. There's something I want you to write down later. Today I'm going to do songs for the times, the times we're living in, not the newspaper. I'll talk a little bit about uh, accompaniments and about songwriting. And for those of you who've uh, sent messages about my left hand, it's nearly back to normal size. But I can't grasp string instruments, so I'm on the piano today. Uh, songwriting, you can make uh, a song out of a cartoon or out of a comic strip. And that's what I did with this one years and years and years ago. It's called Chunk of Cheddar Cheese. Black mouse, brown mouse, white mouse, yellow mouse, sailing on the deep blue sea. The boat sprang a leak, each mouse said, squeak, what's going to happen to me? As the boat went down and they all began to drown, up popped a chunk of cheddar cheese. I'll give you all a ride to the dry seaside if you promise not to feed on me. I'll give you all a ride to the dry seaside if you promise not to feed on me. Well, they were safe and dry and they had a good supply of oats and rye and wheat. But as the days went by, they all began to sigh and gaze at the food beneath their feet. I think I might just take a little bite. I'm a castaway upon the stormy seas. And nothing could be nicer for a bunch of greedy mice than to munch on a chunk of cheese. No, nothing could be nicer for a bunch of greedy mice than to munch on a chunk of cheese. One bite, two bites, three bites, four bites, then just as many as you please. Black mouse, brown mouse, white mouse, yellow mouse, sinking in the deep blue sea. Blue mouse, green mouse, rainbow space mice, shake their heads and everyone agrees. Those mice on earth, we hope they're really worth the present of a chunk of cheddar cheese. Those mice on earth, we hope they're really worth the present of a chunk of cheddar cheese. Well, that's for grown-ups and children of all children of all ages. Uh, we talk about getting back to normal. The next song's a little bit rough. What is normal? I mean, normal is still going on. There's all the wars. Uh, Americans are still sending drones over to, to, to kill people in the Middle East. I saw a film about that once, taken from behind the two soldier boys, American Yank, Yankee soldier boys, who were literally crowing and dancing about as if they were playing a computer game while they saw the drone go and, and kill a lot of people. Um, we invent and manufacture things and then we behave how they lead us. We make things simply because we can. So this is a song by Charlie King, American writer, called Send in the Drones. Isn't it strange? Aren't they a pair? One sitting safe on the ground, one in Never leave home, never ask why one rolls a joystick around, one gets to fly, which is the drone. Hundreds are killed, thousands are maimed, digitized dolls on a screen, no faces, no names. Finish your four-hour shift, time to go home, far from the fray. 
address unknown no name no regret ask not for whom the bells toll fire and forget only a drone a deniable drone no problem and yet isn't it strange isn't it queer Terror remotely controlled, a pilot's career. Is anyone there? Charlie King. On the whole, I try to keep these sessions cheerful. <laughs> So that uh, was one that I just thought we should remember what normal is. And we're getting it every day now in the papers. So uh, write this down. It's ten letters, one after the other. N, Y, C, G, A, R, B, A, G, E, dot, com. If you read that as a word, it's nycgarbage.com. And uh, I was talking about things that we invent because we're so, uh, so curious and we are an amazing species for creating <laughs> the most unbelievable things. There's a man in New York who encases, he collects trash, uh, not garbage, just trash, you know, Coca-Cola bottles and tins and stuff like that. And he encases them in plastic see-through cubes and sells them as art. And they are actually beautifully made. People buy them for lots of money. Just go and have a look at it. Uh, someone else trademarked uh, a, a product that he invented, and he called it nothing. It actually was nothing, with the little TM sign by it. He sold lots of it on the internet. Uh, to people who then complained that they'd sent money to buy nothing and they, they hadn't gotten anything. They'd gotten nothing. So he wrote back and he said, well, you bought nothing and I sent nothing. <laughs> so I like that argument. We are a strange species. Uh, this is a song called Their Brains Were Small. It's quite literary, but it gives a good argument. When I sit in contemplation of the human situation, I often feel a certain sense of pride. Our achievements are many and mighty. The evidence cannot be denied. But my reverie is shaken cause my thoughts are always taken to a tragedy that happened long ago. When there roamed through the land, creatures awesome and grand, the fabulous dinosaur. They were creatures in a manner quite reptilian, in a unique and stylish way. And their numbers could be reckoned in the millions, but there are zero of these heroes in the world today. They had music, art, and fashion. They had dinosauric passion, and I think they'd be enraged and mortified that when they're mentioned today, it's only to say their brains were small and they died. Perhaps some asteroid that Mother Earth could not avoid became the agent of their premature demise. Nature has reasons and seasons. Who are we to criticize when we'd spend most any price to have the ultimate device that ensures the perfect global suicide? Well, I would venture instead that the humanoid head is where the smaller brain resides. For when we're gone, our works will start to crumble until nothing can be found. In 10 million years, some other folks may stumble on our, on our fossils. Then some asshole will begin to expound in some scientific study to this cockroach science buddies how the evidence can never be denied men were technically smart
but not enough heart. Their brains were large and they died. That's by Mark Graham. That's one of the songs I wish I had written. Beautifully crafted. So the last song of this set, it seems to have gone by very fast. You know, when I miss words like I missed fossil, maybe because I'm getting to be one and don't want to even think about it, uh, you just relax. I forget very little. I just uh, postpone remembering it. <laughs> I like the quote, which is not mine. It says, uh, I have photographic memory. I just don't have same day service. I'm trying to remember who said that. So this song has what you might think is a very odd title for the times we're in. It's called So Long Since I've Been Home. Uh, strange to sing it during enforced homestay, but we've discovered that the outside world is our home too. Our friends, whom we can't meet anymore, are our home. Our home is all over the place, and we're missing different aspects of it. So maybe f that's the way I think of this when I am here at home on my own. Um, uh, I'm not locked in, but I, I, I must confess that I am hug hungry. And there's only a few people in the world that I hug seriously. You know who you are, and now you're all somewhere else including my partner who lives in New Zealand. She was supposed to be here. She's supposed to arrive day before yesterday for the summer. And I don't know when I'm going to see her next. So, hug hungry. So I can sing this song with real feeling. Uh, I made it uh, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. So long since I've been home.
The rabbit has a burrow, the little bird has a tree. The rabbit has a burrow and the little bird has a tree. Everyone has a home, there's no home for me. So long, so long since I've been home. Love, remember me. Lying here in the dark, living in my dream. Lying here in the dark, living in my dream. Lying here in the dark, living in my dream. So long, so long since I've been Yeah, hmm. I'm working on getting my left hand in order. It'll take about two weeks uh, before I can really play the string instruments properly. But next week we'll definitely sing your chorus, the one I gave you on the 17th of May. So if you didn't hear it then, you can go back and listen to the 17th of May uh, installment. So uh, stay safe. Uh, don't do any dominant Cummings. It's not a good idea. So, goodbye for this week. <laughs>